Hey, Kyler here with Ride and Direct. In this lesson, I want to talk about the trim tool. The trim tool is amazing. I can't imagine telling stories in post-production without the ability to trim footage. DaVinci Resolve does it well, and there's four main ways to trim your footage. Ripple, roll, slide, and slip edits. Let's take a look at how to use them. Before I begin, up here on the top right viewer, so normally your timeline viewer, when we're in trim mode, it's going to show us information about our trimming that changes based on what trim you're doing, but it allows you to be very precise. So let's do this. I'm going to clear my ins and outs on this wide clip, and let's say I throw this wide in. There's my in and out, and I'm going to put it right there. Okay, I've inserted that clip. And let's say when I play it, I just don't like how it's playing. It's just not exactly right. So what can we do? Well, let's go through the trim tool in order. Let's begin with a ripple edit. Remember, rippling the timeline is when you push everything down. So when you insert footage, you're rippling the timeline because it pushes everything down like we just did here. A ripple edit then is also doing the same thing. So I'm going to highlight both of these. Then we'll go to the trim tool. And I personally have trim, as you can see, mapped to shift A. And I have my selection mode mapped to my A key. That allows me to bounce between these two rapidly, which I do all the time. So shift A, and now the trim mode is determined by where you position your cursor. So if I move all the way over until I get this cursor icon right here, this is going to allow me to ripple edit. If I click and then push, so you can see the timeline is going down. And in my top right viewer, I can see exactly where my out frame is going to end with her on that first clip. And I can pull it back too, and the timeline comes back with me. So that's a ripple edit. A roll edit is when I hover the cursor over an existing edit point, and it turns to that, and then I do this. And now I'm seeing movement on both clips on the top right because I'm affecting both clips. Now, if I go to selection mode and do the same thing, you'll see the roll edit is no different. Roll edit in selection mode and trim mode performs the same way. So now let's take a look at slip edit. Let me put this back, jump back into trim mode. When you see your cursor icon change to this, this is slip edit mode. If I click and drag, it's going to move the clip, but keep the same in and out points on the timeline. So the timeline is not moving at all, but if you see in the top right, my start and end edit points on this clip in the timeline are changing. This mode is super handy. Now you'll notice the red here. Since I only grabbed the video and did a slip edit, the video and audio are now out of sync. Now the way to avoid that, let me put it back, is to just go to selection mode, highlight both of them, and then jump back to trim mode. And if I do the slip, it's moving the video and the audio. So that was ripple edit, roll edit, slip edit, and now we have slide edit. So you remember when we're in selection mode, if I were to grab both of these and move them around, and let go of the mouse and then move them back, an overwrite has happened. But in trim mode, when I do a slide edit, which I get by putting the cursor down towards the bottom of the clip, see that icon there? I can move this clip around on my timeline and I'm not overwriting anything. And then if I look at the top right, I can see where the in and out points are happening on the timeline itself. And finally, if you want to edit a trim and find detail, you can use the comma and the period on the keyboard. So see this, I'm moving in slide edit mode. But how did it choose slide edit? Could Because I didn't have my cursor anywhere. Well, right here, we have dynamic trim mode. And it's not enabled right now, but it still plays into this. If I right click on that, you can see it's set to slide. If I check slip and then do the comma and period, it's going to slip edit, okay? And then finally, if I do enable dynamic trim mode, what this allows me to do is use my J, K, and L keys on the keyboard to play the trim. So if I hit L, it's going to play forward, and then I can hit K to stop it. And so I'm adjusting the trim in a different way. And obviously I got out of sync here because I didn't have my video and audio selected. I'm going to undo that, jump back to selection mode, highlight both of them, go back to trim mode, try it again. Now I'm going backwards because I hit J, and it's moving my audio with me. I don't use this mode. I'm typically in trim mode only, but that's kind of what it does. Now something else to know, when you're in slide edit, if you click on the clip, in fact, let me zoom out of my timeline a little bit. If I click on a clip in slide edit mode, 
it shows me how much before and after of that clip that I currently have to work with. So if I start dragging, see that? See the white? And so that's trimming in a nutshell. Get used to the trim tool. You're gonna to use it a lot. It's super handy, especially slide mode and then ripple edit. Those are the two that I use the most. So as you can see, the trim tool is amazing. Hey, and listen, if you like this training and you're an aspiring filmmaker, check out my online film school, writedirect.co. Write and direct. The goal of my school is to help you sidestep the minefields that claim the dreams of so many other filmmakers. What do I mean by that? Well, look at me. I did the traditional thing. I went to Los Angeles, went to film school, and yeah, I learned a lot, but I spent a lot of money. And if you want to direct movies, when you graduate from film school, there's kind of only one way forward. And what is that? To begin directing movies, but it's on your dime. Your education will not land you a job as a director. So if you spend all your money on your education, you can see you're going to you're in a tough spot. Write and Direct teaches you how to make a movie from beginning to end. We begin in development with story and we go in granular steps all the way through post-production. You learn how to do it all so that you're empowered to pursue your dreams. WriteDirect.co. I hope to see you there. And if not there, I'll see you here on the channel very soon.